Hey y'all, this is Miss Fashion. And I just want to come to you because I fixed up my hair. What y'all think? This is the first time I'm trying like this little curly thing on the side, like and then uh Yeah. This is the same hair. I just cut it because um it was getting on my nerves. <laughs> And I'm like, okay, I've looked this way for two weeks. That's enough. And I know I want to keep, I'm going to try to keep this in for another, I want to keep it in for another two weeks. Now, if that's going to happen, I don't know. But it's the same straight hair. I just cut it and curled it and tried to make it look fresh and new and did a little something. I don't know. I got, I ain't finished cutting it, cutting it. I might do that tomorrow. Hopefully I'll get to do a video on that. But anywho. Okay, here's what I want to talk about tonight. I just want to uh, say, don't forget, no, that's not how I want to approach this. Okay, here's this, let me set the scene for you. So, last week, probably, who knows, earlier part of last week, I mentioned to my husband, I was like, you know, you should make this or whatever, and I got to, well, I got a taste for this meal. He was like, yeah, okay, whatever. So I'm like not thinking any of it. I didn't think him to, I didn't think he would go grocery shopping or, or I, I expected to go get the stuff and then he, I have to ask him again, will he make it on this day? So, and then I've mentioned I've been craving banana cake for the past three weeks or so. I just hadn't made it because we had enough junk in this house anyway. So, I didn't think anything of it. Never never would have crossed my mind that he'd make it, because he doesn't, he's not a baker. So, I would never expect him to do something like that. But anywho, so Friday, for some reason, my spirit, attitude, whatever you want to call it, was just... I don't know. It was kind of blah. It wasn't like my usual up and up. Like when I walk in the door, hey, you know, whatever. So, I am pulling up to the house. First of all, I'm trying to get my own self attitude adjustment before I even get home. Because I know I'm like, I'm coming home to him. There's no reason for him to, you know, experience this little problem that my attitude is experiencing. So, I'm trying to cheer myself up on my way home with a little music. And so by the time I pull up in front of the house, he's like, you know, where are you at? And I'm like, I'm pulling up. See you in a second. As I put my key in the door, he opens the door up, hands me my favorite glass of wine, and I walk into an aroma that slaps me in my face that smells so good. So I'm like looking towards the kitchen. I see pots on the stove. I see steam. I'm like, okay, is this fake? <laughs> Okay, so then I get in the house. I'm like, what are you doing? And he's like, why don't you just step into the kitchen and I'll show you. <laughs> and so he had made this dinner that I've been craving. He made my cake for me. All I had to do was come in this house and sit down. He did, waited on me hand and foot. And just show his great appreciation to me. And you know what? I must say that I truly, truly felt like a queen. I know that what what I was getting, I deserved it. And I know that what I give him every day, he deserves it. He's, he is a great husband, a great helpmate. And I know that it's the type of relationship that I've always dreamed of. It's not like no make-believe, no fake, phony stuff between us. It ain't no, oh, I got a problem with you and you got a problem with me. If some relationships work that way. I've seen them work that way. I've had a relationship that worked that way. So the relationship between me and him is, I must say, the all-time best relationship I've ever had. And it's, like I said before, it's crazy because we are so much like my parents. It's like deja vu sometimes because we're like sitting and talking and then I was like, I just sounded like my mother and you just sounded like my dad. <laughs> it's so 
so crazy, y'all. I'm like, this is amazing how weird this is almost. But it is, I love it. I mean, just like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it. But, I mean, I know most of my subscribers and people that I talk to that watch my videos are women. So, women, just make sure your man knows that you de you deserve all of that. Not saying that he don't show appreciation to you. He may have his own way of showing his pre appreciation to you that I don't even need to know about. But, just make sure you you honor your mate. It goes both ways. Like, I honor him some days. He comes to the door. I'm taking his shoes off. I'm trying to rub his shoulders because I know he's, his his job, He his body is tired by the time he get home. He don't want to hear no bull crap when he walks in the door. He just wants to come home and be home. So, just make sure that you honor your mate. It's all about honoring them so they can, you know, can move on. Like, to know that their hard work doesn't go in vain. So, you know, just make sure, guys and girls, make sure that you honor your mate. Let them know that they are appreciated because in return, they'll do the same for you. So, that's all I wanted to say. Just honor your mate. All right, y'all. That's all I had to talk about. I love you all. Bye.